on and today I'm bringing you another commentary. Gameplay in the background is me playing some survival on Modern Warfare 3. Today's topic is movies. I'm going to give you two of my favorite movies and two of my least favorite movies. So, my first favorite movie is Savoring Private Ryan. Man, I love World War II films. I love them. They're awesome. There's no way they can't be awesome. Don't know why, but they just ain't. I haven't seen one World War II film where I haven't been entertained. So, there's something to say about World War II films. <laughs> Secondly, connection with the characters. Connection with the characters is amazing. They work together perfectly. They got the new guy, which doesn't know what he's doing, but they're all together. They all know what they're doing, and they take the piss out of the new guy, which is so funny. And then they go ahead, and they end up dying, and stuff gets sad, and the medics gets hit. And it was like, aw, aw, poor characters. Why? And, you know, when they, when they actually get to Ryan himself, and then... Later on in life, he's like, did I deserve it? Did it? Did I? Did I deserve it? And I'm just like, yep. Yep, you deserved it, man. You lived your life, and you lived it well. So you definitely deserved what you got. Favorite scene in that film has got to be the one where he's sitting there, all mangled up and everything, and he's pumping off rounds from his pistol into a tank, and the tank's just like, yeah, what? And on the last bullet of his clip, he went bump, and the tank explodes. And he's just like, holy crap. What? What happened? What? What? <laughs> I was just like, yeah, that's, that's one badass pistol. My second favorite film, and this has got to be an all-timer, Dog Soldiers. From the moment I watched that movie... I fell in love with it. It was amazing. And the most biggest reason that it was amazing is it predicts, or it depicts, that's the word, that's the word, depicts werewolves as I would think them to be. They're hunters. They're perfect, perfect hunters. They're built for it. They're not wolves, so they haven't got, they haven't got the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the singlest sort of mind of a wolf like the, the generally wolves will hunt in packs and they're generally good killers but they're rabbit animals they 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 don't use full tactics they're not they're not deep into the into the psyche of their prey they don't know what exactly could that prey fear they know how to sneak up on it they know how to hunt it but they don't know how to make it fear them Werewolves take that to the next level. With part human brain, they know what scares humans, so they are perfect killers. Again, the connection with the characters is brilliant. They all they all get together, they share their stories. You get really into their stories. They gather around this uh, their little campfire, a cow gets dropped on top of them, funny as hell. The storylines of that movie was amazing as well, like when they're going through the woods, they find the woman. The woman turns out to be not what they thought she was. <laughs> it turned out that she practically stabbed them in the back or bit them in the back. Don't know what you would explain that out to be. But my favorite scene in that movie has got to be. He's standing outside and he's, he's, he's standing there. And he's got to get their attention. So, what does he do? He hits a flare. They notice it. They're like, what's this? And he's like, okay, now I've got to make some noise to get these, to get these things after me. First thing that goes through his mind, first thing that goes through my mind is, yeah, start banging around, start crashing, maybe fire off a few shots. No. He called the werewolves out and said, Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. And then belted it away. I was giggling. I was just giggling. That was so funny. 
Okay, now to change the mood up a bit, to change it, to change it around, and I'm gonna go really, really angry now. Or, I don't know, you won't, you won't really tell it's anger, because, well, you probably will, and I'm gonna rant. I'm just gonna rant, 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 rant at the first one I've got on here, and the first one is not really a single movie in itself. It it covers all of them, right? This is covering all of them. There is there is an entire line of these films, and they're freaking Twilight. That is the biggest load of crap I have ever seen. Oh my god! The storyline, the storyline has holes poked through the every single little piece of that movie. Oh wow! And the vampires, the biggest thing in this movie, right? Now I've seen vampires in games, I've seen vampires in movies, I've seen vampires in magazines, in newspapers, everything like that has cartoony or like mythical creatures sort of feel to it, any story, whatever. I have never, ever, ever, ever seen a blood-sucking, bloodthirsty, rabid animal type vampire. I have never seen a vampire sparkle. They might as well have thrown a skirt on him, painted him white, and called him Tinkerbell. Whoa. And the werewolves. Wha oh my, come on. I mean, I've just been talking about werewolves and how they're perfect. They're perfect killers. They're perfect hunters. They looked amazing. They're part human, part werewolf. They look really big, really, really freaky, really. The silhouettes in the dark scare the crap out of you. No, these werewolves are slightly bigger wolves. They're just big dogs. Yeah, that's that's not right. And they only attack vampires. They they have, they keep their mindset and they can change at will. This is not right. No. Werewolves only change at the full moon. Predator missile ready for deployment. And they lose their mind once they change. That's it. Once they change, they go insane. They just want to hunt and kill and eat. That is it. Werewolves Enemy don't keep way. their minds. They don't they aren't able to tell their friends between their enemies. You get in the way of a werewolf, you're going to die. Not jump over her head. And start attacking the guy attacking the guy. No, that doesn't work like that. And the female character who you would class as the primary character, she's the one. She is a stick. Throughout the entire movie I expected someone to just touch her and she snaps in half. Yeah, no, no thanks. No. Yeah, and she's white as a sheep. She's like, she's like the really, really white type of white. She's like, yeah, look at that. She's used. What's that? What's that? Um, what's that thing that comes out as white? It's like dazzle, something like that. Daz, that's one Daz. Might as well call. You might as well stick her on the Daz outfit, the Daz advert, and say, look at that. That's what Daz does to your clothes. And everyone will be like, "Yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to another product." <laughs> Next movie I I dislike really really dislike is Sucker Punch. I was really looking forward to this movie. I was like, "Yeah, the adverts were good, the screen, all the like screenshots were good. They looked awesome." I thought, "Yeah, I'm really gonna really gonna like this movie." From the very first scene. I knew I was gonna hate it. Like, okay, okay, this is okay. There are two really young girls, right? Fair enough. Divorces happen, family members die, right? Okay, they're killing off some of the characters at the beginning. Okay, that happens, that happens. And then she kills her sister, and I'm like, okay. Yep, yeah, instead of shooting the man trying to rape you, you kill your sister. Yep, yeah, that's normal. Okay. Ah, don't rape me. Sister, die. Don't rape me. Okay. Fair enough. But then, 
I'm like, okay, that now this is getting ridiculous. Really ridiculous when she goes to the insane asylum. And it starts to turn into Dreamception. A dream within a dream within a dream within a matrix within a freaking dream. And then in these dreams, there's like these really weird messed up pieces of history with steam engine Nazis and freaking ninja samurai machine gun wielding rocket launching Asians. It's like, what? Really? Why was that ninja samurai thing, big rock, holding a minigun and a rocket launcher? And how did it miss every single shot? I don't get it. Ugh. Oh. But yeah, that's that's me ranting. That's me absolutely raging out. I don't know. I know there's people that rage harder than me out there, but I'm just that kind of guy. I, I let my feelings out. And this is the way I do it. So, happy, happy days. Have fun gaming, yeah? So I'll speak to you guys later, and I hand you back to the one and only to the one and only band for me.